Hello and welcome to the fourth dialogue. Dialogues are lesson where we focus on what we've covered and we review what we've already done. Let's begin. Ti piace Carlo? Now, this is an example of indirect object pronoun. Ti piace Carlo? So, Carlo is the subject. Piace. This is the verb piacere in the third person singular. A te. So, Carlo seems nice to you. So, basically, you like Carlo. But the way you say in Italian is Carlo seems nice, seems good to you. No. No. Ti piace Mario? No. Chi ti piace? Now, this is a question. We figure it out because there's a question mark and because there's a, an interrogative adverb at the very beginning. Chi? Who? So, basically, who seems nice to you? So, who do you like? So, these three forms are not reflexive. These are just indirect objects that are contracted. So, Carlo seems nice to you. Mario seems nice to you. Who seems nice to you? There's no reflection here. There's no object and subject that are the same person. The subject and the object are always different in these cases. Dario. Perché non glielo dici? So, perché means why or because. In this case, we have a question. Therefore, it means why. Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell him? Now, dici means you say or you tell. Glielo is one of the complex pronouns that we have seen in the last video. If you don't know what this is, go and watch the complex pronouns video. Basically, it is a double contraction. We have the object lo. And we also have the indirect object pronoun gli. And they merge together to form a complex pronoun, glielo. So, basically, we have an indirect object particle gli and the object lo and they merge together to form a complex pronoun yellow so why don't you tell him why don't you say it to him why don't you say it meaning why don't you tell him that you like him sono timida timida means shy timido means shy but for men Timida is for women. Sono. I am. This is the very first person, singular, in the present tense. We've covered the verb to be ages ago. This is the first person, singular, in the present tense. Non essere timida. Don't be shy. Literally, don't be shy. Do not be shy. In this case, you have the infinitive form of the verb to be, essere. Non, which is a particle that makes everything positive become negative and vice versa. And timida, again, shy. So, do not be shy. Facile per te dirlo. Easy for you to say. For you, per. This is a simple preposition. Go and watch the prepositions video if you don't remember. The preposition that means for. Easy for you. As you can see, there is the object pronoun te here. Facile means easy. Easy for you to say. Who do you like? Chi ti piace? Who seems nice to you? Again, we have an indirect object pronoun here. Luca. Wow. Wow, cosa. Cosa means thing. But if it's in a question, it means what. So it can also mean the interrogative adverb what. Si sa che ti piace Luca. Now, this is very important because this is the first time that we see the impersonal si in action. This is the impersonal form. Si sa. Si sa. Sa is the third person 
singular of the verb sapere. Io so, tu sai, lui sa. So we have si as subject and sa as verb conjugated in the third person singular. But of course, we know that when we use the si as impersonal particle, we know we mean people, everybody, no one in particular. So everybody knows that you like Luca. Okay? So si sa che ti piace Luca. Everybody knows that you like Luca. Oh Dio, perfetto. Dio means God. Per perfetto means perfect. Vuoi essere aiutata? Now, in this sentence, we revise two things at once. First off, the verb volere, the verb to want. Io voglio, tu vuoi, etc. We've already seen this verb and it means want and it's very useful. And it wants the infinitive form of the verb that comes next. And in fact, the verb that comes next is in its infinitive form. But we also have the passive form here. So it's not vuoi aiutare. This would be do you want to help. But it's vuoi essere aiutata. This means do you want to be helped. So we have the passive form. We have the infinitive of the verb to be and then the past participle of the verb aiutare, to help. Do you want to be helped? No. No. Ho un'idea. Idea is feminine. That's why we have the feminine version of the indefinite article. Un. Apostrophe. O. The verb to have conjugated in the present tense. First person singular. I have. So I have an idea. Quale. Quale is a little bit like cosa. Cosa means what. And quale means which. So what idea. In Italian you literally say which. Which one. What idea do you have? Se tu parli a Luca, io parlo a Dario. Now, this is another example of if clause or if statement, but this time we have the present in both sentences. And this is also very used. So, in the if clauses video, I showed you that in the first sentence, so in the condition, you have the present and then you have the future in the other sentence. So, if you speak to Luca, then I will speak to Dario. But you can also say, if you speak to Luca, then I speak to Dario. So, in this case, it's more colloquial and the present simple is kept in both sentences. Of course, you have the particle if, se, and then you have tu parli a Luca. You speak to Luca. Io parlo a Dario. You, I speak to Dario. So, if you speak to Luca, I speak to Dario. Quando, this means when. Go and watch the interrogative adverbs if you don't remember these. Adesso, now. Adesso, why now? Now, in the second case, it's not a statement but a question. Okay, guys, so I think we've reviewed a little bit of grammar and that's all good. Hope everything is clear. If you have a question, post it down below. Like the video and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. See you soon and take care.